Okay everyone, so in this video, we're gonna learn how we can change the mouse pointer on hover in CSS, all right? So the thing we're gonna do in this tutorial is we're gonna change the uh, mouse when we hover over this uh, content, all right? So we hover over this h1 and we get the pointer and we hover over the paragraph and we get the pointer, but we're also gonna add a specific image that we grab from the internet. So when I hover over this help button, we also get a custom pointer that we can choose by ourselves. Otherwise, we have many different pointers that you can choose from using just CSS. So let's do this. Okay, so in VS Code or your own code editor, make sure that you have one index.html file and also that you have linked your style.css file correctly. So in the head tag, you have this link with the style.css file, all right? So we're going to add a cursor uh, on the whole page first. And after that, we are going to add a specific uh, cursor to this uh, help button with a specific uh, image we're going to grab from the internet. Otherwise, we're going to use the, the cursors that we get from CSS. Okay, so first we are going to go and change the cursor for the whole page. So to do this, we are going to go to style.css. We're going to go and add HTML, a star, and open and close curly braces, like so. Now we're going to add cursor, colon, and now we have options to choose from uh, different cursors. So if you go to uh, a new browser, and you go to uh, Google, search for cursor MDN, all right? Here we have some uh, different examples. So go to this one, go down, and now in this list, you see uh, different cursors that you can choose from, all right? So in this tutorial, I'm just going to choose this one, pointer, but you have different one that you can choose from. So let's try pointer. Let's go back to your code editor and add pointer. So this one. And just finish this off with a semicolon. All right. If I save this one and go to the browser and update and hover over this uh, main page head title, we see that we now have a different cursor, this pointer. Same thing with the paragraph and same thing with the button. All right. If you want to have a specific uh, cursor for this uh, button, we can just go to index.html and as I have done, uh, just add an ID if you want to have this for only one button or a class if you want to have this on all your buttons. All right. So in my case, I'm just going to name this to help-btn. All right. So we're going to grab this ID, go back to style.css and just add this right here. So for IDs, we are using hashtags. So we're going to add help dash btn, open and close, curly braces. And now we're going to add cursor, colon. And now we're going to just go back to MDN and we want to have this one, help. As you can see, we now get this uh, preview when I hover over this uh, text, like so. Okay, so we're gonna use the cursor help. Let's go back to your code editor and we're just gonna type in help. Finish off with semicolon. Okay, I'm gonna save this one and I'm gonna update the browser. And when I hover over this one, we get the pointer, we get the pointer. But when I hover over this button, we get this question mark, all right? So you can just uh, choose uh, which one you want to use from the list right here. And we can also add our custom image, all right? So to do this, I'm just going to go and grab an image from the internet. So I'm just going to go and open up a new window. And we're going to go to pixabay.com. I'm going to search for cursor hit enter 
find the one you want to have. So in my case, I just want to have this one for the help button. I'm going to click on it. Uh, these are free to use. I'm going to click on free download, click on the smallest one, click on download. All right. The thing is we need to uh, change the size on this image. So just open up your uh, image editor and just change the size. So in my case, I'm going to have this at 36 pixels. Okay. I'm going to save this one like so. All right, and now we're going to go to VS Code or your own code editor. All right, I'm going to right click, create a new folder, and this one is going to be for images. Hit enter. Now we're going to grab this cursor that we just downloaded and resized and just release it into this folder. Like so. If you like, you can just rename this one to make it easier. So cursor help. Like so. Just hit enter. Now we're going to go back to style.css and we're going to delete this one and we're going to add URL. Open and close parenthesis, double quotes, and now we're going to add the path to this image. I'm going to add forward slash and now we get this drop down. I'm going to add images and this image. All right. And we also need to add this fallback if this image doesn't work. So I'm just going to add a pointer to this one. So if this uh, image doesn't work, uh, we will use pointer instead. So now we're going to save this one. We're going to update the browser. So same thing. If I hover over the h1 tag, we have the pointer. If I hover over the paragraph, we have the pointer. But if I now hover over the help button, we now have our custom image that we grabbed from the internet and resized. So this is how you can change the mouse pointer on hover in CSS. Comment below if this uh, worked out for you. Also, if you'd like to join my Discord server, I'm all about uh, web development. If you need help with anything and if I have time, I will help you out. Just go to the link in the description. You're most welcome to join. All right, and if you go to the left right here, we can see that we have a discussion general. You have your developer goals. We have web development, so JavaScript, CSS, HTML. Uh, more will come as we grow bigger in this uh, Discord server. We have my YouTube channel, What's Developer, with new video uploads. You can also request a video right here. And if you have some troubleshooting, you can go to general right here. Okay, everyone. So if you want to join this uh, Discord server, you find the link in the description. And I know this Discord server will grow over time. All right. Okay, everyone. So I hope you have an awesome day. Take care and bye.